So I'm shooting a commercial tomorrow, but today I decided to take the family to go on a road trip to Seattle. Oh, we made it to the top. It's very bright. It's a beautiful day. Oh, God. Finishing off the day in the Japanese bookstore. It's been a great day in Seattle. My wife's sister has never actually been in Seattle, so we wanted to take her and see the sights. It's always really gratifying to take people who haven't been somewhere to a place that they've never been. Gotta get back shortly because I'm shooting a commercial tomorrow. Can't talk about it, but you'll know soon. I was in the field, always stuck inside my fields, feeling low, don't help with all the snow inside my wheels. Think I need to go and bail. I ain't talking about a jail, but I'm steady locked in. Gonna do the shit. So I'm at the Twin Peaks Cafe. It's called the what? The Tweeds Cafe? Tweeds Cafe. This is actually where they shot the David Lynch classic TV show. I got a cheeseburger. I can't wait to eat. I'ma need a zip code in my bag sealed. So like how we doing shit, we don't take deals. Contracts be layered, they don't got a pill. Only stay up in my lair, I don't go outside, make it move south, going ghost, no public guys, headed for the warmer nice. Just finished my meal and it was literally the best burger that I've had in years. I thought this was more going to be just a regular old cafe with run-of-the-mill food, but that was an impressive one. So I don't really feel like stand. I don't really feel like playing. Quit fucking with the plans. A couple young kids, polo kicks, that rich. Stacking money on a one way trip, yeah. I ain't really worried about nothing. All these people all around me always worry about something, yeah. You can believe it, she's, she's 11. Oh, okay. Wow, really? She's very limber. <laughs> she's very limber. Driving down south, first we're checking places out. All this lack of money got us planning different routes. I'm headed to my general voting district to register my vote today for the BC provincial election. If you're a young woman or lady, you should be activating your right to vote. I'm also a young person, I understand. It means that you're lazy, that you're not motivated, that you're not voting because you're not willing to understand politics. I don't understand politics either, but I know that I have the right, and I'm gonna exercise that right today. Hey guys, you giving away some free Red Bull? Sorry. You giving away we're free actually, Red Bull? We're actually just heading out. You're heading out? No more? That's it? Yeah. I'll give you a free advertisement. <laughs> all right, no Red Bull it is. Actually, I don't really like Red Bull anyway, so it's all good. It's a beautiful day, let's go grab some lunch. Ran to my Japanese counterpart. Check out that hair. Oh yeah. That's not bad. How much do you spend on those bangs? About 150? <laughs> not like your hair. Yeah, I go every two weeks. How often do you go? Right now, this is about a few days old. I go once a month. Once a month? That's yeah, not bad. Uh, uh, Considering like... how fast Asian hair grows. Yeah, I know. It's so fast. Come over here. Yeah, man. Jo join in. What's up? How you doing, man? Yeah. Does this make you uncomfortable at all? No, not at all. Blow the sickest bait. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Marty Top Floor here, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't checked out his Instagram stories, it's incredible. He does weather reports, and the thing is, is that he is adding and infusing a little bit of that cultural spice. A lot of people tell me, not enough black people are on your channel. So, look at this. So, uh, I'm Marty Top Floor. I do weather reports. Essentially, I just wake up in the morning, I check out Google, find out the weather, and I basically regurgitate it to my followers on Instagram. So, are you a meteorologist? No, I am a weather regurgitator. What differentiates you from people being able to just Google their own weather? Why should they rely on you? I don't, I mean, rather than going to Google, they, they can hear it from Marty Top. That or... cultural spice, am I right? Yeah, pretty much. I think getting a black guy to read you weather is way more entertaining than looking up on your own anyway. Exactly, exactly. That's, that's where I was trying to get at, you know? Just bring in value. Word. So I think that this is a ball in a bag. Well, a few, a few bags, but Claudia here. It's a head. Why would he be doing that? It's a bald guy's head. Are you sure? Yes, 100%. Is he like paranoid that his head will burn? I don't think bald people think about that. Do bald people put sunscreen on their heads? Really yes, Hundo, Hundo P. 100%. 100% they put sunscreen on their head. Great. Thanks for your contribution. You're welcome. Yeah. 
Let's talk about Soto Wednesdays. Tell people about Soto Wednesdays. So Soto Wednesday, it's a new thing. We're going to a place called Shui, Scooey. And it's called Shui. Ah, this is his first time. First time, number He's one. He's never had a Panino Soto, and we've hyped it up for him. We've hyped, hyped it up. I've hyped it up a little too much. I've heard I best sandwich in the like world. Like best sandwich in the world. Is it really as good as we say it is, or are we? I'm excited. I guess You're we'll You're not see having you. one. I know. You're on like a keto diet or something, right? I'm not on the keto diet. What's up? <laughs> Let's go get the best sandwich in the world. We'll show you how good it is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, meet Freeman. This guy's gonna be famous, man. 17% of my audience are females. Yeah. You represent a very unique sort of sexual allure. <laughs> And I feel that my female audience would appreciate you because ladies like a good beard. Now, Freeman, that's a different story. It's <laughs> an awful ratio for uh, your fans. Yeah, that's true. 83, yeah. 17. That's really bad. Much better than that. Thanks for opening my eyes. Yeah. Trying to fix the problem. <laughs>